As a professing Christian, if you've ever doubted your salvation, even for a moment, this psalm, Psalm 119, is for you. Collectively, the psalms are like a little Bible in and of themselves. Independently, Psalm 119 is like a little Bible in and of itself. It contains in it the thesis that God's word is to be preeminent in the believer's life. And it houses in it everything that a growing Christian would need to draw closer to Jesus Christ. If they would but take a moment to consider it, to meditate on it, even in the midst of the worst afflictions. My new work is called Save Me. A study of Psalm 119, verses 89 to 96. And I've chosen the section of verses 89 to 96 because they house the verse, I'm thine, save me, for I've sought thy precepts, verse 94. This little phrase, save me, was the springboard which this study began to understand how being saved occurs and what the psalmist meant by it. The psalm was pivotal in the reformer's life of Martin Luther, where he relied heavily on this little phrase, save me, during his initial ministry. As with Luther, so with us, my hope is that you'll be encouraged to pray along the lines as the psalmist did in desiring God to save you. You might think I'm already saved. I'm a blood-bought believer in Jesus Christ. That's excellent. But no, Scripture provides saved and transformed believers with the biblical truth that, one, they were saved, two, that they're being saved, and that, three, one day they will be saved, finally. Savedness has a past connotation, a present reality, and a future hope, which all work together for the good of the believer. And this is on account of the work and merit of the Lord Jesus Christ. This work is available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com for more information on this title in both ebook and print form. In this, there is great comfort to be mined out of these verses for the believer to understand how God accomplishes this saving, how he does it through Jesus Christ. How he does it in light of this section and teaching of Psalm 119, it houses in it comfort and hope and help, and importantly, the need to have a true assurance in one's eternal position before God. May you be blessed in this study and draw closer to Jesus Christ as a result.